Hey YouTubers, get excited. Today we're going to be looking at trading. So today's lesson is part of the Australian curriculum. This is the New South Wales version of the Australian curriculum. Here is the new syllabus and it is in the number strand and in addition and subtraction two. So, and it's also part of stage two, which of course is year three, year four students. If you have the syllabus, it is page 131. Uh, there is a really good example towards the end. It talks about background information. Uh, and this is actually called the decomposition method of trading. Uh, and you can see it's really critical that to do this well, your students need to have a sound understanding of place value. So let's get started. I think it's really important that we work with concrete material for the first few examples. Now please go onto our website for uh, lesson plans and uh, uh, other resources. Um, there will be actually worksheets that you can download for free. So please go to our website. Now, let's have a look at the first number, 442. Now, of course, that is four hundreds. So here are my concrete material. What we're going to be doing today is we're actually keeping the first number, the large number, the same. You may be familiar with uh, borrow and payback, which is a method uh, that many of us were taught at school. Um, I'll be talking about that in another video. Um, this is the best method because we're not, not actually changing the number. So the first thing we always start, we start with the ones, is two take away one. And two take away one is one. The next we go to the tens column. Four, take away five. Now we can't do that. So what we need to do is, we need to trade one, 100 for 10 tens. Of course they're the same. And because they're tens, they go in the tens column. So watch how I represent that. Four take away five I can't do. I'm actually going to trade, bring one of those hundreds across to the tens column. We now have 14 tens. And see how three, three hundreds, 14 tens and two ones is actually still the same number. It is still 442. We've just changed some numbers across to the uh, tens column. Now we can actually work out 14 take away 5 is 9. 6. 9. And 3 take away 2 is 1. And there's our answer, 191. Let's do another one. So here we have another example, something I actually forgot to mention in the first example that I always do. Um, before we actually calculate any algorithm, it's really good practice to estimate. So if we say 600 taking away 364, I suggest we round up 364 to 400. So the answer will be at least 200, roughly 240. Um, so keeping that in mind, you may like to write that down. And that's a really good method to, first of all, to show a sound understanding of the concept, but also you can check your answer. If you're wildly different, it's a pretty good um, indicator that you may have made a mistake in either the estimate or the actual answer. So let's first of all put this one out in concrete material and then we'll talk about it. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to say zero, take away four, we can't do that. Now when it comes to borrowing, we can't actually borrow from the tens. 
So we actually need to do the, the process that I showed you in the first example twice before we can actually start working out this algorithm. So I need to trade 100 for 10 tenths. Seven, ten. We still have the problem, zero, take away four. So I now need to trade a ten for ten ones. Four, six, eight, ten. Now, we won't have any problems working out this Sum. So let me show you how we represent that on paper. Can't borrow from the tens column, need to borrow from the hundreds. Shown there. Now I need to borrow. So we now have five hundreds, nine tens, ten ones. And now it's simple. Ten take away four is six. Four, six. 9 take away 6, well, 90 take away 60, 30, and 500 take away 300, 200. Answer, 236. Let's try another one. So the third example, 847 take away 338. So before we start, let's estimate. And you would have seen the last example, of course, the estimate was spot on. So 850, take away 350 or 340, whatever you're comfortable with. And of course, the estimate is 500 or 510. So let's put them out. So let's get started. Seven take away eight, we can't do. So we need to borrow a 10, trade it for 10 ones. We now have three tens and 17 ones. 17 take away eight is nine. Three take away three, or three tens take away three tens, zero, and eight take away three is five now. I've run out. But the answer is 509, which is spot on. So thank you for watching this tutorial on trading. Um, please go to our website, illawarraeducationfoundation.com have a look at the worksheets there, download them, have a go, and please remember to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.